RSGGDog182 here with a, a tutorial for Adobe Flash CS3 Professional brought to you by Blue Shoes Productions. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use masks and animate them. So, first off, you have to get um, your starting project and or you start, uh, I, I just started Action Script 3.0, so do that. And get a picture. If you're on Windows, hit Control R to open up. I'm importing. If you're on Mac, hit com I believe Command R. And I already imported the picture you can see down here. <coughs> but um, so all you have to do is it's it's, a, it's really simple. But if you mess up one step, the whole thing can go wrong, and you'll be sitting there for hours trying to fix it. And if that does happen, just restart the whole thing and watch this tutorial again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer. I've already made a few layers, so I deleted some. So I'm just gonna change this to layer two, the layer on top, default. Um, and I'm going to right click mask, and what it does is when you mask this, it um, like links the layer below it to the mask too. So that's really helpful. It's not a pain or anything. So what, what you wanna do is unlock the layer two on the top, or, or not even layer two, just layer on the top, whatever it is. <coughs> In that case for me, it's layer two, so I'll unlock the top layer. And keep the bottom one locked though, and just scribble like, say I wanted uh, to see RSG and the whole thing. Just since it's all white around now, I'm worried about getting an exact ground or something behind this. Which in that case, it'll look kind of cruddy. All right, now lock this, and it masked out what I brushed. And this masking works it not only with uh, brushes, but anything really like shapes. A lot of stuff so like look say when I, I want to animate this in a time sequence to make um, this picture appear or on on like open up or whatever over a certain amount of time so let's just get a rectangle before we do that let's make this frame say 20 frames long and when you're at the frame hit F no wait don't do that hit F5 to make the frame let's make this frame below it too so now you have this, and here's this little picture. So what you're gonna do is make a rectangle um, like that at the beginning. Just you're only gonna see this, so make it look like nothing. You and then let's see, go to the very end, hit F6 to make a keyframe. Then go to the free transform tool, select this little rectangle, and drag it up now lock this layer if you notice right when you get to here it appears and what you're going to do is I don't think you want to have it appear at the very end so select any frame go to tween and choose shape so now go back to the very beginning and I believe it is control enter but yeah control enter to preview that's preview it. So there it just pops up like that. <coughs> like an advertisement you probably see on the web to get really annoying. Um, so you can exit out of that. And that's your basic thing right there. Uh, if you lock this layer, you can completely see it now. It's pretty cool. And you you know, can not only just make it go up and down, obviously you can do side to side, diagonal, anything you want. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this helps.